Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be going over how to make our Paracord Rifle Sling. This is one of the most popular kits on our website, and so with the help of this video, hopefully you'll be able to make your own. Let's dive right in. For this project, you're going to need 60 feet of Paracord. I've got 30 feet in two different colors. We'll be cutting those down to some smaller sizes in just a minute. You also need this nylon webbing, and then this swivel clip, and another detached swivel clip. Like I said earlier, this kit comes prepackaged in our store. It does come with printed off instructions, but if you prefer video, you can watch this instead. The last thing you'll need for this project is scissors and a lighter. Let's start by cutting each cord down to size. I've got 30 feet here of my orange, so I'm going to measure out 14 feet of that Got a three foot mat here. So we'll cut that at 14 feet. And then so our ends don't fray, go ahead and just melt them down a little bit with your lighter. Those will be finished off nicer when we're finished. So there we cut our 14 foot section. The rest should be our 16 feet to make the total of 30. Go ahead and do the same with your black cord. When you've got your paracord cut down to the right length, go ahead and set aside your 16 foot sections. Then take one end of each of your 14 foot sections, should have one of each color, and we're gonna melt them together. So we'll do that by holding them both in the flame. And then while those ends are still hot, stick them together and hold them there until they dry. Then we're going to take your nylon strap. We've got our swivel clip on this side, and on the other end we just have a plastic rectangular ring here. So go ahead and fold your cord in half, leave that joint a couple inches off of center, and we're going to put our cord down through that loop. Then we're going to reach up through our loop and pull the rest of our cord through. This is what we call a cow hitch. To make this knot a little bit wider, we're going to run these cords through our ring one more time. Bring it right up through the middle, and then down again through our loop. We want that meld mark to come all the way through outside of that knot. We'll do the same with our orange cord. Right up through the middle. And right back down through that loop. Your end knot should look something like this. Then take the other ends of your cord and put them down through the ring of your swivel clip. Feed that most of the way through. Slide your swivel clip on. Make sure that your cords aren't twisted at this time. And before we go any further, you want to measure from the swivel clip to our nylon webbing. And you want that to measure 22 inches. So we'll measure it out on here. Keeping your place with one hand, take one cord and run it again through that loop. And we'll do the same with the orange. Should look like this. Now we're going to start our weave. Take the right side cord and lay it across the top of the middle cords. Then we're going to take our left, put it over the top of that right cord, around the back, and up through the loop created with our right side cord. Pull the extra through and tighten that down. This will hold our knot in place, 
Before going any further, we want to check to make sure our sling still measures that 22 inches. Mine slipped a little bit. That's looking better. Now we're going to do the opposite of our first knot. Pick our left side cord now, which should be the same color as your starting cord for your last knot, and put it across the top over to the right. Then with our right cord, we're going to go over the top of that cord, then around the back and up through this loop. Tighten that down right against the first knot, and it should look something like this. Make sure all that's tight before moving on. Now we're just going to repeat that first and second step back and forth down the 22 inches of the sling. So one more time to go over that knot. Take the right side cord over to the left, left side straight down over the top of that, around the back, and up through that right side loop. Going back to the mirror, across to the right side, right cord around the back, up through the loop, and tighten that down. As you go, you want to slide your weave together to eliminate any gaps. We'll keep on going with this pattern, and we'll catch you at the other end with your next step. There we go, we've made it to the end. We're going to cut our extra cord off. Alternatively, you could leave your cord all together in the full 30 feet each, and we're just going to weave back the other way. But since we've got the two pieces, we're going to clip it just about a quarter inch from the weave. And then heat seal those ends. While the ends are still hot, you can take your lighter or the scissors and go ahead and just flatten the end against. That'll make a nice wide bead of plastic that's going to keep the knot from sliding through. So now to go back the other direction, go ahead and flip your project around. Now we're going to be using our 16 foot sections. So grab one end of each. And we're going to melt those together just like we did with the 14 foot. Then go ahead and situate your melted joint behind your weave. And we're going to do the same weave that we did before, except right over the top of the first one. So since I want black in the middle again, I'm going to start with my black side cord and bring that over the top. We're just going to be treating this weave as the middle two cords. Then just like before, this cord down, around, and through the loop. Got a little bit more cord to pull through this time. And then tighten that up right over the top. We'll do that again. Black over the top, orange around the back, and through the loop. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more of these knots, and then I have some pointers for you how to make your top weave look the best. So now that we've made a couple of these knots, we can kind of see the pattern. On this outer weave, we're not going to be able to slide our knots up to make them nice and tight. In this case, we want them to sit right in between the bumps of our first weave. So if it's nice and even, keep on going. If it's not looking even like this, you're going to want to go back and adjust before you go on. There we go, that one's done. We'll just clip our ends and finish them off like we did before. So there's our finished gunsling. Like I said earlier, this is a kit that we sell in our store. And so head over there if you'd like to pick one of those up. If it doesn't come in colors that you are looking for, you can definitely just pick up 60 feet of paracord and other supplies and use this video to assemble it. 
Be sure to stick around and subscribe if you want to see more paracord tutorials. We make a lot of bracelets and keychains and things like this on the channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.